Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about the reserves which stand in any kind of partnership account and what is the effect of it on retirement of the partner. So now that we have understood that retirement of partner brings in two change. First, there is a gaining ratio that comes into the picture. Second, there happens to be a revaluation account. Now, third, the reserves that stand in the balance sheet has also is supposed to be credited to the retirement partner or the retiring partner either in the proportion that has been shared in the ratio or if as mentioned in the question. Now, whenever we talk about retirement of the partner, you need to understand one thing. A retiring partner takes away only his share. The other continuing partners can either wish to go ahead with retiring that same thing or taking that amount into their own capital account or let it be in the same ratio as it is. So what we'll be understanding is that we'll be passing a journal entry first. That means reserves account will be debited and partners account will be credited. That is in the same ratio. That means the existing ratio where or which was used when the partner was still into the business will be taken into consideration while distributing the profit. But if in case the original ratio is changed, that means the continuing partners wish to change the partnership sharing ratio, then in such scenario, the partners who are continuing will go ahead with further change in the profit sharing ratio and provide the retiring partners reserve as per their new profit sharing ratio. Now let me explain this with an illustration for you. Now when we talk about retirement of partner, this is the basic journal ready that we passed. That means in first situation, reserve account to partner one capital to partner two capital to partner three capital so the reserve is shared between all the three partners in the existing profit and sharing ratio but in the second situation we have passed another entry that means reserve account to retiring partner capital so what does that mean if in case we need to show only the retiring partner going ahead with this kind of reserve being extracted or taken back into their partner's capital so only that partner will be credited the other continuing partner will still have to go through the existing reserve balance that is still there in the account so these two journal entries has to be passed specifically as per the questions requirement now this is what we have assumed when there is no change in the existing profit sharing ratio that means let me give you an example here Suppose in the first journal entry, the ratio existing was 3 to 2 is to 1. And now that we have continued that the existing partner, suppose partner 1 who had a profit sharing ratio of 3, he wishes to retire from the partnership firm. Now when this thing happens, if the continuing partners or existing partners decide that they don't want to change the ratio, let it be as 2 is to 1. If that is the case, then yes, the journal entries will remain by far the same that has been mentioned here. But if in case, now they wish to see that the ratio of new profit sharing ratio between the existing partners changes to 3 to 2, then in such scenario, 3 to 2 will be the new profit sharing ratio of the continuing partners and reserves and surplus will be then shared according to this partnership sharing ratio here further after the retirement is done. So you have to take that clause into consideration. Now we'll be solving an illustration to understand better on this part. Now in the first scenario that we have discussed here, supposingly the case has been mentioned A, B and C are partner sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. A retires, B and C continue to keep the ratio as profit and loss sharing ratio as 3 to 2. Reserves balance was 10,000 as mentioned here. So the journality that can be passed here is reserves account debit 10,000 to A's account to B's account to C's account in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. So you can see 5,000, 3,000 and 2,000 mentioned here. Alternatively, you can only pass the reserve entry which mentions only the retiring partner capital being given out. That means reserves account debit 5,000 to A's capital account because A is retiring which is 5,000. So this is one scenario, case one, where the profit and loss sharing ratio remains the same as per the earlier profit sharing ratio even after retirement. But what if the ratio after retirement changes? 
you have to go ahead with the calculation of gaining ratio then and accordingly you have to formulate the new profit sharing ratio so let's figure that out now in the second scenario that we have understood we have taken an example that x y z are sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 z retires and x and y decide to keep the profit sharing ratio as 3 is to 2 that means that's a new ratio completely here reserves stand at the value of 9000 now if you know that if in the earlier case if this has been the scenario it would have been 1 is to 1 for the retiring partners or for the existing partners but now it has changed to 3 is to 2 which is different from 1 is to 1 so what we have to calculate is the gain ratio first for the continuing partners that means x and y which we have calculated for x it will be 4 upon 15 and for y it will be 1 upon 50. So for x and y the gain ratio is 4 upon 1 which is different from 1 is to 1 which would have been if it was case 1 here. Now the first generality that you can pass is will remain the same that means partners sharing all the reserves and profit into equal ratio that means reserves account debit to x capital to y capital to z capital that entry will be common across all the cases or all the scenarios the only change that you will find here is that if you have to give out the reserve only for the retiring partner that means the second entry that we pass that means reserves account debit to partners capital account only retiring partner then in this scenario it will be moved because that will be shared as per the gaining ratio that we have calculated and it will be moved from x capital and y capital this is why because the profit and sharing ratio has been changed by the continuing partners so whatever has been gained that will be moved or that will be used to give out the capital or the reserves for the retiring partner so the retiring partner balance 3000 that means for z will be shared by x in the ratio of 4 upon 5 and by y in the ratio of 1 upon 5 that means 2400 and 600 will be the answer respectively so this is how you need to figure out that in terms of retirement if reserves is something that you have to understand about these are the two case scenarios that you have to understand so i hope this video gave you a clarity about how to deal with reserves whenever the retirement of a partner is into questions so i hope there is no clarification that is further required in case if the retirement of the partner is done as per the existing ratio itself or if there is a new ratio because you know know that if there is a new ratio you have to figure out the gaining ratio if there is a continuing old ratio then you don't have to do anything it is just a similar or regular thing that you do as per the reserves capital being distributed among the all existing partners including the retired partner as well so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda